Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And as the world is still recovering from CrowdStrike, uh, interesting stats, because I've seen a lot of whatever being told. And when I see people saying, well, you know, that's why we have to move to Linux, ain't better. If everybody's on Linux, it's on Linux. That's all going to happen. It's There's no change. It's, it makes, makes me uh, laugh when I see people saying that. Is uh, you know, there's no more security in any operating system. It doesn't work like that. It's the dominant operating system that often is a problem, but here we have a problem that's not even Windows, um, which happened with a bad update of an antivirus. Um, one of the things that's interesting also is that people are on the impression that everybody went, you know, the computers went bad. No. Not even 1% of the PCs were impacted. 8.5 million, says Microsoft, were impacted. And that's not even 1%. There's 1.5 billion PCs out there. So it's not a lot. It's very few PCs, but it's PCs that were used in the industry where um, that company, that CrowdStrike Falcon antivirus, crashed their computers. Uh, for those that need a tool... Well, there is a tool that Microsoft is um, sending out, which is actually a tool that you can put on a USB thumb drive. So they give you all the instructions on how to create a PE media and using uh, the safe boot media and so on. So I'll share this link, which comes from the uh, Microsoft tech community. And uh, you can use and create that tool if you have a lot of computers and they all crashed. Well, that's the tool that's going to help and make it a lot more automated and work better. So uh, I will share this link where you can create the tool following the instructions on the page. So uh, that's the uh, interesting part of uh, all of this. Uh, but it just tells us that how dependent on technology we are today. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.